Today I'm going to talk about the body's fat thermostat, some of the classic studies that show how it works, and then how to control it. And it's coming right up. The amount of body fat that we carry is regulated like a thermostat. If you haven't seen my first video about it, you might want to review that now before we proceed. We often think about weight loss in terms of the body fat uh, equals calories in, calories out, which is called the energy balance equation, and this is always true, but it doesn't really mean what people think it to mean. Most people think of it this way, that calories in, more than calories out, equals increased body fat, which makes it seem like it's the calories that are most important. If you control your calories, then you can cause increase or decrease body fat. But you can rewrite it a different way. And you can say that the increase in body fat equals calories in being greater than calories out. That is, if something such as the fat thermostat being set too high raises your body fat, then it will cause you to increase your calories in or decrease your calories out. That is, it will make you more hungry or it's going to decrease the amount of calories you burn. And you can see that virtually all the studies in the last 50 years of nutritional research have pointed to the fact that this is the real way we have to think about it. Let's look at these classic studies. So this is one of the most famous studies in uh, weight loss, which is almost 30 years old now, published in the most prestigious journal, the New England Journal of Medicine. And what they did was they took participants and they controlled their calories. So they gave them more to give them a 10% weight gain. Then those who gained weight returned to their initial weight, then to 10%, then 20%. Uh, weight loss. Your body wants to be at a certain fat percentage. If you gain weight by increasing your calories in, then your body should actually resist that by increasing the number of calories it burns. And that's exactly what we see. In fact, those people were, had increased their energy expenditure by almost 500 calories per day. So then when they returned to their initial weight, they were right at their thermostat. Their energy expenditure, which is the calories they burn, also return to baseline. Now here's where it gets interesting because most of us want to lose weight. We try to go down. The body has a fat thermostat, which is set at a certain level. And if it notices that your body fat percentage is too low, then it's going to increase your body weight. And how's it going to do that if your calories that you're eating are fixed? Well, it's got to reduce the amount of calories you burn and you can see in this study it, that that's exactly what happened to the body. It reduced the number of calories it was burning by 300 calories a day, which is going to slow the weight loss and try to return you back to that uh, normal equilibrium. And the, the, the classic studies go back even further. This is from 1984, which is almost 40 years now. And they looked at how many calories people were burning. And they, controlled, uh, they, they, they compared three groups. The control group, which is normal, non-obese people. They controlled those who were obese. And then they compared those who were obese but had lost weight. And they looked at how many calories they were burning. So if you compare the control group, they're burning about uh, 1,400 calories per meter squared, which is probably about 2,000 calories for an average size person. And it wasn't much different in those who were obese. But what is interesting is that the people who were obese and then lost weight, so if their body fat thermostat is set too high, but now they're maintaining their low weight loss by eating fewer calories, you see that they're burning much, much fewer calories. If you compare, the uh, number of calories per kilogram per day, there's a huge discrepancy. The normal people are burning 36 calories a day, whereas those who were obese but had lost weight were burning barely half of that. That is, the body fat thermostat is trying to get that weight back up by making you burn less. It's not your fault. You can't control that. You have to look at what the thermostat is doing and try and control the thermostat, not the calories. And a lot of these calories actually goes into body heat. So again, if you look at classic studies of so-called starvation, which is basically calorie restriction, you can see 
that as you lose weight, the body core temperature goes down because the body is burning fewer calories to try and conserve those calories to get that body fat percentage back up. And as you go back to a normal weight and refeeding, that body temperature goes back up. So you can understand these classic studies of physiology point to the fact that we are thinking about it the wrong way. It's not the calories that's causing the increased body fat. It's the increased body fat that's causing the imbalance in calories in, calories out. And then you can ask the proper question, which is what's causing that in the, the increased body fat thermostat. But what about the calories in part of the equation? Well, we see this classic study from 2011, which is uh, more than a decade old now. As people lost weight, you could see that certain hormonal changes happened. That is, ghrelin was much higher. Ghrelin is the hunger hormone. So in fact, people were hungrier. And other hormones like satiety hormones, such as peptide YY, amylin, and CCK were much lower. When you take that all into account, what you see is that those people who had lost weight over that year were hungrier than normal. It wasn't some psychological voodoo. These people were physiologically hungrier because their hormones were telling them to eat more. You must increase the calories in because the body fat thermostat has sensed that the body fat percentage is too low. So what controls this body fat thermostat? That's the real crucial question. It's not calories. Calories is downstream. You want to know what's upstream. And really the answer, which I talked about in the obesity code, is the same thing that controls everything in our body. That is the hormones. There are certain hormones that are going to increase your body fat thermostat. How do we know this? Because we can give people these hormones and we can see that they gain weight. So insulin and cortisol are the two main hormones that are going to increase this body fat thermostat. Why? Because we have synthetic insulin. And if I give people insulin, um, they will gain weight. And it doesn't matter how much willpower they have. It doesn't matter how many calories they eat or don't eat or what diet they have. Everybody gains weight if you give them enough insulin. So we know that what's happening is that the body fat thermostat is being ratcheted upwards. There are certain foods, of course, that have more insulin effect. And there are certain eating patterns that are going to raise that as well. On the flip side, there are hormones that decrease the body fat thermostat. And how do we know that? Well, there are drugs that we can give that cause people to lose weight on a sustained basis, such as the incretins, that is GLP-1, GIP, and glucagon. Sympathetic tone, so our sympathetic nervous system, for example, if it gets ramped up, it decreases your body fat thermostat. Again, how do we know? Because there are drugs we can give to increase sympathetic tone. Nicotine is a classic, and nicotine causes weight loss. Had lots of other bad effects, but it did cause weight loss. The original drug Fenfen, which was a very popular diet drug uh, in the late 80s, it also had multiple bad, bad effects, but it did cause weight loss. What you need to do is focus on what is the hormonal effects of the foods that you're eating. What is the hormonal effects of the pattern of food you're eating? That is, do processed foods affect it? How do they affect insulin? How do they affect cortisol? How does eating early as opposed to eating late affect things? How does eating more carbs or less carbs affect it? That's what you need to know because if you change your dietary pattern, whether it's by adjusting your fasting uh, interval, by adjusting the timing of your meals, early versus late, by adjusting what you eat with your meals, such as vinegar, which I've talked about in other videos, uh, eating uh, naked carbs, for example, uh, eating uh, carbs later in the meal as opposed to early in the meal. All these things affect your hormones, and ultimately it's the hormones that affect our body fat thermostat, which tells us whether we should gain or lose weight. If you focus on the calories, you focused on the wrong thing, and therefore you won't be able to sustainably lose weight.